on 1st May 2014, directors of a limited company forfeited 200 shares of 20 each, rupees 15 per share called up, on which rupees 10 per share has been paid by A. The amount of the first call of rupees 5 per share being unpaid. 10 days later, the directors reissued the forfeited shares to to be credited as rupees 15 per share paid up for a payment of rupees 10 per share. Give journal entries in the company's books to record the forfeited forfeited shares and their reissue. In the books of a Dash Dash Limited, application working notes, application distribution of amount and number of installments. Application allotment etc. rupees 10, first call rupees 5 which could, we could not receive on 200 shares held by A. Then he paid rupees 10 and he could not pay, A could not pay rupees 5 on first call and second and final call of rupees 5 has not been made. Then 10 days later, this was, uh, this is on May 1, the totaling is rupees 20 and number of shares forfeited and reissued 200 shares. Fair notes, journal entries of Dazdas Limited, first entry 2014 is the year May 1. Share capital account debited 200 into 15, that is rupees 3000. Two forfeited shares account, 200 into 10, 2000. Two first call account, 200 into 5000. Being 200 shares of 15 called up, forfeited due to non-payment of share first call money of rupees 5 per share. Then May 1. Actually, it is written 10 days later. This should be May 21. If you can, please write down May 21. 10 days later. 1 plus 10. That is May 11. Please, May 11. Bank account debited. 10 days later, these shares are reissued as rupees reissued to be credited as 15 per share paid up for a payment of rupees 10 per share. That is bank account debited 200 into 10, 2000. Forfeited shares account debited 5 rupees discount on reissue. 200 into 5, 1000. To share capital account 200 into 15, 3000. Being 200 shares reissued at the rate of rupees 10 per share, rupees 15 paid up. And the last one, May 11. This May 11, the middle date should be also May 11, reissued. Forfeited shares account debited to capital reserve account. We made a profit of 2000. We forfeited 2000 rupees from Mr. A and we gave discount out of this rupees 1000 to B. So, final profit is 2000 minus 1000 is equal to 1000. Forfeited shares account debited to capital reserve account that is 1000 each. Being profit on forfeiture and reissue of shares transferred to capital reserve account, the totaling will be 7000, that is both the sides, which is telling both debit and credit sides and this is the final answer.